street cleaner found them. Delaware plates, took them back to a Nicholas Landy. Whoa! Fed, somebody wanted us to know this guy worked for the government? There's white gravel in the tire treads. That's not from around here. Got a tarp here covered in blood. Could have been used to transport the body. It's a dump site that hardly qualifies as remote. Yeah, but loops. Look down here. Federal Reserve Bank. This little scene was staged by somebody with a big one for Uncle Sam. Time of deaths between seven and 10 last night. I found multiple contusions, broken rib, broken jaw, all inflicted within a half hour period. Your basic blunt force trauma party. These marks, he was choked out. Yeah, someone with big hands. The inscription on his chest is an in ink consistent with the black marker. What is this crud in his hair? Crud. Crud might have been on the floor where he was killed. <clears throat> I, I... Anytime you want to switch jobs, detective, you let me know. <laughs> uh, the fingerprints trace back to a James Landy of Delaware. He has a disorderly conduct in Milford from 2004. The car's in his father's name and no record he ever worked for the federal government. Hmm. The SUV's Easy Pass has it leaving Staten Island at 9.30 last night. Could have been Landy driving the car or his killer. Can't tell from the tow booth camera. Well, he has iron oxide in his hair. That's probably from the crime scene. That's a chemical used in explosives and cosmetics. And a hundred other things. Have you contacted Mr. Landy's next of kin? His father's deceased as of last year. Mother lives in Arizona with his sister. The local authorities are contacting them. Well, we won't release his name until that's done. We got his last known in Red Hook. Well, get over there. One PP's talking to the FBI. Landy may have worked for the government off the radar. You want to help? Get me some answers. He had only been here a few months. Uh, right, Eddie? Did you ever see him with anybody? Oh, last night there was this girl, a black girl. I was on my way out to get some yogurt, and she was outside trying to buzz Jim from downstairs. A black girl. What time was this? A little before 10, maybe. What did she look like? She was nice looking. Except her right hand was balled up like this in a fist. Thanks. Show the laptop cord, but no laptop. Otherwise, nothing out of place. Nothing here really to steal unless you're a bookworm. Clinton's memoirs, history of the Chicago 7. Landy was a political junkie. He put his money where his mouth was. It's a pay stub from the Rights Alliance Foundation. Some idiot looking to whack a fed killed a community organizer instead. In the three years I've been running this office, we've never had a person with more passion. He was the star of our voter registration beat. Did you speak with him yesterday? I didn't. He was in the field all day. Staten Island, Bay Terrace. He was going door to door with John Munson. Till what time? Late, I think. Mrs. Owens, has the Rights Alliance been receiving any threats lately? Besides the usual partisan threats to cut off our funding? No. Why? Jim had this scrawled on his chest. Oh, my god. Is there a reason why anyone would think he worked for the federal government? I can't imagine how. We tell all our employees to identify themselves up front as being from a nonprofit. This is bad. Well, for the time being, tell your people to be careful. Work in pairs and only during daylight hours. OK? <sighs> we'll be in touch. Thanks. I can't believe it. I should never have let him go off on his own. Go off on his own where, Mr. Munson? I'm down by Richmond Valley. If there was even one unregistered citizen out there, Jim was up for the hunt. We hear he was passionate. How did that go over with the citizens? It could be pretty aggro, yeah. He said he learned the hard sell as a student volunteer for the Obama campaign. Are we like targets now? Should we be carrying pepper spray or something? I guess you're pretty safe here. Just mind the Jack Russells. He came by yesterday, around 7. Told him I don't vote. Only group I support is my food co-op. And Elf, the eco-terrorists. 
You have the sticker on your car. Oh, that's been there five years. I put a few nails into trees, but when they started blowing up boats, they lost me. Well, we heard that Mr. Landy wasn't the type to give up on an unregistered voter. Look, I gave him an organic apple, and he went away, OK? This white gravel, you know where it comes from? Yeah, Jerry Gans, down the street. He just put in a new driveway. He'll love hearing from you two. <laughs> Trespassing. We'll be out of your hair in a minute. Did you talk to this guy yesterday? No. Weird, because he hit the four houses on this side of the street right before yours. Get it straight. I don't have to submit to interrogations by Big Brother. <laughs> Mr. Gans, this man turned up dead shortly after paying you a visit. Two minutes, and we'll be out of here. You got five seconds to get off my property. That rat poison? Yeah. Kill a lot of people with that. In the hands of an anti-government activist, possession of that amount of toxin falls under the terrorism laws. Who do you think you are? Big brother. And you're under arrest. Well, your problems with authority goes back a ways. In 99, you assaulted an EPA inspector who was trying to run a groundwater test on your property. He was trespassing, same as you. Just give us an alibi, and you can get back to the Fortress of Solitude. I don't answer to a couple of Obama bots. Obama bots? Hold on. It's a message from the boss. After we book you for possession of a chemical weapon, we'll get a warrant and go through all your personals. I spoke to the guy, OK? I told him voting is an endorsement of the system that violates our freedom. And what did Mr. Landy have to say to that? He started arguing me usual liberal claptrap. Then he dropped his bag. His video camera tumbles out. Red light was on. He was videotaping you. Said I was getting my gun. He grabbed his stuff and beat it. And then what did you do? I made dinner for my wife. Now can I go? Uh, no. So Landy was making secret videos. Of the wrong people. Mr. Gans is a member of Patriot Rangers a libertarian group active in those tea parties last summer. Do we know if Landy actually owned a camera? Yeah, we found a manual for one at his place, but no camera. What do you want us to do with Mr. Gans? Kick him back to Staten Island, let them hold him for the terrorism charge. As for Mr. Landy, see if the Rights Alliance knows he was moonlighting as Michael Moore. Thanks. Courtney Owens at the Rights Alliance, she said she didn't know about Landy's videotape. But check this out. I had the Milford, Delaware police fax over his disorderly conduct arrest report from 2004. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's what I thought. I want everyone outside. Grab your vests. We got a situation. Lieutenant, we have something on landing. Later. You come with me. Free Jerry! Free Jerry! Free Jerry! Free Jerry! Free Jerry! Free Jerry! It's like Jerry's free kids bought their pop guns. Jerry, what do you want us to do? Arrest him? Anyone who so much as reaches for a weapon is a dead man. Now, for those of you carrying a weapon, you are in violation of Administrative Code 10303. You got 30 seconds to get them back in their carrying cases and into your vehicles or you will be booked for reckless endangerment. Now, what was that about Mr. Landy? He was arrested in 2004 for picketing outside a poverty law clinic in Delaware. The arresting report says he was co-chairman of his campus Bush re-election committee. From militant conservative to bleeding heart community organizer, sounds like a stretch. Well. If we figure out which one he really was, it might tell us who killed him. 